If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Man, I'm talking about, look, this right here, what Lil Durk just did is one of the most I'm talking about. Man, it's hard for a game banger to do what he just did. I'm look, y'all, you gotta been done live that life to understand how that right there affects a person. That is tough. That is real tough. To agree and, and to push peace when it's been nothing but war and bloodshed and chaos. I'm talking about people have died. There's guys right now doing life in the penitentiary because of they believed in the BD and the GD war. There's guys right now that are buried, decaying right now because they believed and sacrificed their whole entire life because they believed in the BD and the GD war. And now after all that sacrifice, after all that bloodshed, mama's crying, kids without their parents, children without their fathers, because of this war, you mean to tell me now all of a sudden, hey, I'm, I'm pushing the peace. You know, guys, I'm, I done found the religion. Um, I'm done with that lifestyle and you know I want to put up a poster at my concert to show that you know Chicago needs to be united and look everybody don't agree with that people are still hurting people are still mad look people done lost people so I understand that not only that though we have people like FBG Duck, rest in peace to FBG Duck. We have people like him that did this initially. And when he did it, people was laughing at him. I'm talking about, they was calling FBG Duck soft. They was like, he falling off all time. And, and I'm talking about his own gang was even upset at him. They like, how dare you even give them props? These are the same guys that killed folks now last year. A lot of people didn't agree with FBG Duck when he did that. But he did it. And allow me to say something. Um, for FBG Duck to do that. For Lil Dirt to do what he's doing. I'm talking about y'all. That's hard. That's It's hard. Because... In doing this right here, you have to pay homage to the people that done killed your homies. You have to honor them. These are the same men and people that killed your homeboys, and now you got to honor them. You got to put them on the same playing field as you and your guys. That's tough. That's tough. After you done cried because of your people done got killed by these guys. That's tough. But I got to honor these brothers because they had the fortitude to do it. Now, I understand there's a little controversy because, you know, FBG Duck did it first. And I understand that right there because I used to, I mean... Still listen to that song right there because it's raw. It's raw. But at the same time, I got to say that being that it's being done now, what that does is it solidifies. It confirms what FBG Duck was trying to do way back then. What Lil Dirk is doing right now is saying, hey, FBG Duck, you was right. 
while we was laughing, acting a fool, trying to make fun of you and stuff like that, making records, talking about some, we ain't gonna stop until all y'all did and all that old, we was fools. But you was right. And it goes without saying, um, everybody that's trying to push the peace and all that old type of stuff, uh, FBG Duck, he was the one that started that. He was the one that initiated that. And I do believe that he needs some honor. He needs some honor for that. Because he was the first one to initiate it. And now everybody falling up in his footsteps. And what that's doing is, like I said before, that's confirming that FBG Duck was before his time. Now, here it is, we got Lil Dirk doing it. And I'm talking about, look, I honor both of them brothers. I honor Lil Dirk for doing this. And let me explain to y'all why I honor Lil Dirk for doing this right here. And especially at this time. Because what he is showing y'all, what he is showing all you drill rappers, all you little young brothers out here that's running around here with these switches and these AK-47s and these Dracos and doing all this killing and joining these gangs and trying to have all these murders. What he is showing y'all right now is that that is all for nothing. You are killing, destroying people's lives and potentially will destroy your own life for nothing. It's all for nothing. You have GDs and BDs six feet under, buried, decaying right now today because they believed in the BD and the GD war and they died for nothing. You have BDs and GDs right now today doing life in prison because they believe in the BD and the GD war. And they doing all that time and they sacrifice their lives for nothing. See, when you, when you mature, when you become a classic man, I'm talking to you youngsters because y'all can't see it right now. Y'all on these drugs, y'all ripping and running these streets, y'all y'all hurt because people done killed y'all friends and stuff like that. I understand that. But if you're able, if you're able to become a mature man, you will understand and only then will you understand that it's all for nothing. And being that I'm giving you this game right now, you should understand that, look, look, let me stop. Because even though I'm going through what I'm going through, uh, this classic brother is letting me know, hey, look, this is all for nothing. And if you don't want to believe me, talk to those who are in your gang that has survived the wars. And ask them, hey, man, what am I doing? Is this... And they're going to tell you, no, brother, stop that because it's all for nothing. When you go to jail for killing somebody, killing your ops and all that, when you go to jail and you sitting in there with a life bit, you're going to be cooking with the same people that tried to kill you and your friends and everything that got a life bit. Because once you get up under that pressure, once you get up under that iron hand oppression, in that penitentiary, you're going to understand, man, this was all for nothing. We was tripping. Once you get older, you're going to say the same thing. Man, that was all for nothing. I wasted my time. I was tripping. And so being that he's showing you, because you got to understand some, uh, Dirk was a part of that. Dirk believed in that. He sung about it. And he was about that. He got, look, look, Dirk got close friends right now today that he know about the bodies that they got. He got close friends right now today that's doing life in the penitentiary for believing in the BD and the GD war. 
And for him to come out and say, hey, no, nah, I ain't with that no more. And to put the ops pictures next to this people's pictures. This is breaking a generational curse. A lot of people are mad at Lil Durk for that. From his side. From the op side. Because a lot of people want to keep the chaos going. They want to keep the war going. They want to kill, 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 destroy, 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 go to jail and all that. Because they don't care about their lives. They don't care about the future. And they want to kill themselves off. Because they don't care about nothing. So you got to understand something. This right here was a bold move. And I got to take my hat off. I got to take my hat off. Because we got to understand something. At some point, it got to stop. At some point, it got to stop. You can't just keep killing and killing and killing. At some point, it got to stop. And who's best to say that, hey, man, this stuff is about nothing than Lil Dirt? Who's best to change their life around and show these youngsters, hey man, listen, check this out. I'm gonna rap about this stuff because I came from that right there. That's just how I rap. I gotta talk crazy and stuff like that. This is how I'm paying my bills. But truthfully, this is how I really feel. I really feel like I wanna stop the violence. I wanna stop all this stuff. And look, I'm showing y'all right here that I'm a change man. This man right here even cutting ties to these people that are just trying to still be on the madness like he don't even want to kick it with them no more these are major moves these are life-changing events i'm talking about because you gotta be strong to do that a lot of people get caught up in their ego they get caught up in their pride and they can't they, the group pressure won't allow them to do that but he's doing it and i gotta honor it now, before I depart, allow me to say this right here. To all my young brothers and my young sisters, please do not sacrifice your life for this bullshit. Don't. The evidence is in front of you. You have dead friends, multiple dead friends do you want to die at a young age no you don't you want to live you have multiple friends doing time in prison the rest of their lives they would never get out do you want to go to prison and do the rest of your life no you don't you want to stay free you want to live. So the best thing you can do is stop living that gangbang lifestyle. It's that simple. We ain't got to make it complicated. Stop living that gangbang lifestyle. Where you created all that destruction and chaos and madness and hurt and stuff like that. You got to leave that environment. Uh, the people that helped create you to cause you to be a game banker and destroy your community. You got to sever ties with them. You got to leave. You got to get away from there. You got to start all over, which is okay. It's okay to start over. But that's what you got to do. You got to change your attitude. You can't, you can't take that same attitude to where you're going if you decide to change your life and move out of town. You got to change completely. Don't think that, okay, I'm going to move from Chicago and I'm going to move to Minnesota, but I'm going to still have a Chicago attitude. You will get killed up here in Minnesota because... We got fools up here too, ready to kill, caught up in that madness. So you got to change 
the mind state, the attitude, the life, if you want to live. But if you want to die and you want to sacrifice your life for nothing, then you keep doing what you're doing. But I don't encourage that because I don't believe that you a fool. And for the simple fact that you got a gun tells me that you scared to die. Tells me that you trying to protect your life. So instead of doing all that, get away. Can you believe that there's a place in this world right now today where you can go to where you don't even have to pack a gun? You can walk to the store freely, walk back freely. You don't even have to watch your back. But you got to go out and you got to do that. You got to give yourself a shot. Stop living in that environment because that environment is going to consume you. It's either going to kill you or it's going to send you to the penitentiary. This is Hood Educated, not Lame Related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Allow me to give a shout out to Sultan Shabazz for the $10 cash app. Thank you. Uh, Razorback Nation for the $3 uh, cash app. Thank you. Sister Tangela Powell for the $5.50 cash app. Thank you. Uh, Warrior Type for the $50 cash app. Thank you. I really appreciate that, bro. And last but not least, Michael Rochelle for the $50 PayPal. This is Hood Educated, not Lame Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.